this is fucking great smoking on a fucking show like this. Blow me down. Yeah, you see what this, what it uh. went to and shit? You could get across to people smoking, doing what you want, still talking shit, smoking. Uh. That's fucking great, yeah. Uh. How you doing, miss? I'm doing? I'm all right, can't complain. If you don't know, you won't know. Ladies and gentlemen, players and pimps, stoners of all over the world, you inside the GGN News Network. I'm your host with the most finding Nemo, AKA Nemo Hoes. And today I got a real special guest on my show. One of my blood brothers, you understand me? One of my compadres. Yes. My homeboy, Red Man in the motherfucking house. Yes. Where's the button I press for the clapping? We already clapped. <laughs> You One know, of the forefathers. For oh, real though, me, oh, smoking. me, you, Meth, and Be Real, mm -hmm. our face should be on uh, Mount Smokemore. Yeah. You know what they said in the comments for that episode, everyone was saying, why did you call it Mount Cushmore? Because it's, it's just one letter off of Rushmore. So let's call it Mount Cushmore. Mount Cushmore. There it is. I like that. I agree. I, I agree. <laughs> I concur. I totally agree. I concur. What you been up to, dog? Music. I've been watching you. I've been seeing you all over the internet acting a damn yeah. fool. For real, That's for real. That's what we do, man. I mean, you know, I got to keep the antics going, man. The game yeah. is too serious. I like to have fun. Yeah, that's what you do. You bring yes. a lot of fun to the Absolutely. game. You've been doing this shit for a long time. Man. Yes, yes. And you always kept it funk. That's, that's one thing I want to say, that you always kept the funk in your shit. Your shit was always funk based, funk relevant. Mm -hmm. Where did you get that from? What, what was your influences from that? Well, it started from what the album. Uh, my first album and my 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 influences uh, are the first Ice Cube album, mm -hmm. America's Most, and then as a group, Niggas for Life. Mm -hmm. You know, I was one of the only East Coast dudes that was rocking West Coast music at that time. That's why, if you notice on my first album, I got the drops, I got the skits, I got the funk on my album, just like West Coast would do it, Man. but with the East Coast flavor. So, and plus E Sermon, I came up under the group wow. EPMD. So you the Green Eye Bandit was the producer? Of course, you know, he was the producer, he was the CEO, he was the chief so referee the first, of the So the first shit. Red Man album he did? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That motherfucker was funky, yeah, funky, was. funky, yeah, funky, yeah, funky, was. funky. And he was on one because EPMD was still smoking hot. You got the chill, so what yeah. you're saying? So you was funk. getting all of that. You I was, was getting all that era, all that new era of funk. I was getting it all. You was killing that shit too, acting real yeah, bad absolutely. on it. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, But see, believe it or not, your shit inspired us to stay funky. Because when we heard you do the funk, we created G-Funk. See, imagine that. First of all, when I started hearing the G-Funk era come in, I heard it on a mixtape. And me and Eric Sermon got that motherfucking tape of y'all, and we said, Lord have mercy, we can't believe what's about to happen. And y'all just Heavy. elevated that shit. Yeah, elevated that funk level. Cause you know, we was using a lot of samples mm -hmm. and it didn't, you know, using samples and mono beats don't give you that clean, you know, out the keyboard shit, yeah. beat Playing like you it had. With the and, guitars and, 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 yeah, and the keys. Yeah, and, man. You took that shit to another level, man. The nigga Dr. Drake was able to, you know, he was able to, to bring that sound across the same funk, but it was more about he wanted it live. He wanted live musicians. He wanted that sound that George Clinton and them had. Yeah. You know, he wanted to reduplicate that and that. That to me kept us alive for a long time. That's why we was able to keep bouncing back and forth and keep making hot shit from the 90s all the way to 2000 because mm -hmm. that funk vibe, when it was open up, it never closed. Yeah, I did, man. I remember when I, when I first, when I, when I ran into you back in the day too, like over there by Echo Sound Studios, mm -hmm. I think. You was like, come on, man, Red, man, you like the, you like the Snoop Dogg of the East Coast, man. We bump <laughs> your shit out here. And I really took, I, I really thought about that. I was like, yeah, you know what? You goddamn right, Snoop, and I'ma act like it. Yeah, you sure do. Yeah. I can't wait till we all do something together, cause that's like the main thing right now is for us all to come together and make something that these youngsters can see that both worlds is the same. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? We all the same. We all get out, but we never really had a movie or nothing to, to really dictate that other than the show. Remember when the show came out? Yeah. That was the only thing that really had all regions, but it was documentary. It wasn't like movie like. And I really want to do a movie with me, you, Meth and be real, like I was saying, that just really just touch bases on what we need to be doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of them Bill Cosby, Sidney Poitiers, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm game, you know, I'm already down. I'm down for the get down. For real, though, I think we need one of those, because you know, those movies used to be the shit when I was a kid, to see Bill Cosby and Sidney Poitier. But you remember but, that movie? Yeah, come on, man, what? Uptown Saturday oh Night, Lil' Seymour? Man, and come Big on. Percy? Big Percy, come on. 
hot shit. How could fire. you not remember? And, and I heard Will um, Will Smith on the rights to that. So I didn't heard that for the Will. past seven years. Like, Will, yeah. what you doing with it? You just yeah, did like, that movie with you and your son out of space and shit. That, let's go. Let, yeah. Let's get back to Earth, nigga. Hey, besides the fact, you know, that we need to, you know, consolidate, you know, this what we did as a movement coming mm -hmm. up, you know. You know, the game of marijuana is way turned up as far as it being medical and, you know, it's a movement now. Yeah, it really it's a, is. It's a fucking movement now. And, and people don't know, like dudes like Red and Meth or Be Real or Snoop, you know, like we, we put our life on the line, like, you know, dedicating to this marijuana movement back in the day, which means like if Pepsi or Coke commercials wanted to fuck with us, they never fuck with us because of what we promoted, mm -hmm. you know, and what we believed in. We would believe in this marijuana movement. So, you know, y'all gotta understand endorsements and shit ain't come in fluent because of what we promoted so we could get y'all here to this stage of where marijuana is today. So mm -hmm. why not say we the fucking forefathers of it and make Mount Cushmore and do the fucking movie and do this and do that. Yeah. And if you wanna smoke, you gotta come to us. Exactly. You know what I liked? I liked it, that Muddy Waters. Oh, I'm working on the Muddy Waters too. All the Muddy Waters fans out there, that Red was Man my fans, shit, nigga. Muddy Waters too coming, baby. What I mean, you, you like Muddy Waters, the old school, you know, blues motherfucker? What was the inspiration of that? The, the Muddy Waters was, you know what? I wasn't even up on my jazz. You wasn't up on him? I was, but when I thought of the name, I wasn't thinking of the jazz. So it wasn't, it, it was wasn't. just It was just something I thought of, and it was just like, God damn it, it is a Muddy Waters dude and shit. And he, see, he was on the same shit you was on. That's, yeah, what, I'm, was. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he was, too. So that I, nigga was hard with it. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. All, so, the Rolling Stones, all them niggas bit his shit. You know that, right? Mm-hmm. No, they literally bit his shit, like took it and made hits out of his shit that he couldn't make a hit. Yeah, this shit is, is documented. That's why I say when you when you took that title, that made me think you was on some political shit, but sometimes we don't even be knowing nah. the dynamics of what we do. Exactly. We just do what we do and the shit come out nigga like, well, did you know that Muddy Waters was like? Yeah, exactly. We nah, in that nah, really? same kind of frame, man. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Roy got yeah, holes. Yeah. Roy got cars. Roy was a rapper too. Yeah, yeah, he was. See, and that's where it went he down. Like, you can't be writing, you can't be boxing and trying to. <laughs> Roy got cars. Roy got <laughs> holes. Roy got his ass knocked out. <laughs> Yo, listen, we caught Roy at his prom because he beat homie ass. So Red and Meth, it was a privilege to rock, walk out with Roy Jones. Plus, Y'all walked cool. out as the biggest thing yeah. in the world. Uh. He, he couldn't get knocked out and we, we walked no, out with him. That would have been bad. Yeah, he not whooped tonight. his he, Yeah, he whooped his ass though. But it was all political. Like, yo, we met him. Yo, people know Red and Meth. Yo, I want him to come through. You know how it is. But see how hip hop transcends yes. through everything? Yeah. How the fuck did the champ want you yes. niggas? You groungy ass hood niggas to walk on a stage with him. I'm saying though, look, yeah, come on. This I is a professional sport. Yeah. We hip hop. This is what they look at us as. They don't look at us as the clean. Yeah, they not look at, at us all. as the worst of the worst. So Dirty for him money. to say him like, hey, I Dirty want them money. niggas. Fuck with y'all. I'm not walking out with the national anthem. I'm walking out with these niggas. And that's just what happened. And I'm gonna kick this nigga ass and we're gonna party afterwards. Hip hop is a universal communication. That's what it hey, is. Baby. Floyd got a fight Saturday and he got a party Sunday. Floyd! His party Sunday though. Floyd, I'm a Mayweather fan. Me too. Hard, hard, work, that hard work and dedication. Man, I, I love, love that nigga Floyd. I money team. I want right. him to get me a hat. I want to be in the money team too. I man. wanna get I want to get some gloves signed. That's what I want. Some I want to be in the money man. team. TMT. Put me on. I know that's I'll right. I'll fight a nigga for a round to get on the set. Put I me know on. that's right. No, but I like Floyd because see, Floyd is like, he's the young generation's champ. He's that's orange. Right. He's the people champ. He's our He do what we would do. Yeah. If we was a champ, what would we be doing? Showing out. Fucking off money, <laughs> fucking hoes, showing out. <laughs> that nigga showing out. Showing out. Yeah. When he when he when he went when he went over Canelo, it's just gonna be a rap. Is Canelo good? I don't know nothing about him. Canelo is a beast. He a beast? He's a fucking beast. He's no, a for fucking real? beast. Yes he is. I ain't gonna take I'm a boxing fan. Oh he's, he's really a fucking that beast. Yes he is. He's focused, he he's he he got strength, he's fast. And he been beating motherfuckers asses. Okay, and what's his nationality? Huh? What's his nationality? Mexican. Oh, he not gonna beat Floyd, no. No. <laughs> mm -mm. 
Mm-mm. Floyd gonna outbox him as usual. He gonna out nigga him. That's right. That's what he gonna do. <laughs> All he right then, that's what I'm talking nigga. about. Today we're in Pomona, California, and the weather is gonna be cloudy with a chance of meatballs. So ladies, if you've been missing a little meat action in your mouth, go ahead and open your mouth and tilt your head to an upright position towards the sky, and you'll have a lovely day. Let's get busy, yeah, who's with me? All these lights and they all so pretty. Just one night to live like kids, see I'm on fire and it's my city. Let's get busy, come on, who's with me? All these lights and they all so pretty. Just one night to live like kids, see I'm on fire and it's my city. You know what it is, Uncle Snoop is hosting the BET Hip Hop Awards. Yeah. When? Yeah. October 15th, baby. October 15th. Ooh. It's gonna be incredible, is it's it gonna be incredible? Damn, it's going down. I'll be there. Yes, sir. In spirit. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That motherfucker. He was all cool and shit. He woke up quick. Look, <laughs> you bitch it up. Uh, oh, 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 this is the wrong store. Uh, I didn't want this one. Nope. Not this store. I'm sorry. I said I was looking for Tony. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> get your black ass out of here before I shoot your fucking head off. I said, Tony, sorry. Yeah, this is the wrong house. My no, boy, bad. Well, they know not to go to that store again. Hell no. What's your touring like right now? You still on the road? Um, no, I had to get the fuck off the road so I could get the get this album done and shit. I need to get some music out. Okay. You know. I wanna... Something that's relevant right now. And you got hit records, but still, we don't feel right if we ain't got nothing out right now. Exactly. I mean, you know, we could stay on the road all day because, you know, they always calling for this 90s yep. music. I yeah. see, yo, that's Red and Meth stay on the road like we on the nine, in the 90s on some real shit. For like real, we be overseas like at least seven months out the year, man, getting that guap. And, and 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 I love it, but sometimes you just gotta step back and be like, yo, I gotta put some music out. That's your and I'm independent edge, now. though. That's your edge as an MC. Yeah. You, you gotta have that. You can't never lose that. No, you won't lose that. As long as these promoters know what this music about, we always gonna have a job. Yeah. But I wanna step back and just do this album and shit, cause I'm independent now. I ain't mm-hmm. on Def Jam no more. Are you 100? It's all you? Yeah, I'm 100 right now. That's a good thing, and it's deserving, cause see, now you own everything that you finna put out. And to me, that's what it's supposed to be. When you establish like that, when you put your music out, you're supposed to own it. It's management. And yes. then it's definitely a, a internet presence. You gotta have a real big internet presence because that's where most of the traffic is at nowadays. It used to be we would go to record stores. It's and about trafficking. Signings. Yeah, remember we used to go to record stores and do album signings? That's right. Well, I ain't done one of them motherfuckers in so long. Because ain't no more fucking record stores. Ain't no more mom and pop record stores. Ain't no more Sam Goodies. Come on, that was the only way you had to reach us. You had to see us if you came yep. to the motherfucking and we sitting in the table. We sit at a table like this. That's right. Sign All it. day. Niggas bring us weed at the table, and we shook hands. We touched the people. It was personal, people. yeah. It was personal. That's exactly what it was. It wasn't by email or text no, or none no. of that shit. It was a... And then you would take a picture with them, and they would leave, and they would be like... They'll show you some old shit like, nigga, this a picture when you bomb. was in the third grade, nigga. Where is bomb I love shit. you, nigga. Hell yeah, my mama love you, nigga. It's your Easter suit. Hell like, yeah. nigga, where you get that picture at, cuz? Give me that. <laughs> like, my fans are crazy as a motherfucker. These niggas got pictures of me and all kinds of shit. I don't know where they get them from, but these niggas go to work. Shout out to my nigga Red. I got a fan named Red in the uh, Midwest. This nigga got a, a picture of me when I was four months old. Get out of here. I swear to God, this nigga got pictures of me doing everything. <laughs> That's a you rode your, it's when you rode a bike for the first time. Like, nigga, where was you at when I was doing all this shit? We didn't even have no camera in my family. How the fuck you got a picture of me? <coughs> Roll him up a backwood. That's how he get in. That no, it's for the red man. You hit that backwood too hard, champ. It ain't for you, church. It's for red. How you gonna say it's for red like that, man? He said that Roll him up one, huh? Max, get him a backwood together. Yeah, man, shit. Yeah, man, that's some East Coast shit. You fuck Yo, with Busta Rhymes put me on that shit, too. When? Back in the day, like in the 90s, he put me when on When Busta was a heavy smoker. Yeah, he still heavy smokes. He kind of medium now. Yeah, how you know? Godfather, Godfather, hold on, hold on. <laughs> He don't go, he don't go as, as hard as he used to. Yeah? Yeah. You know, when I see a nigga, I like to smoke my whole sack with a nigga. If I see a nigga like here, nigga, let's go. He be like, just give me one or two and I'ma roll out. I'm like, nigga, let's get out, nigga. He looking all good. He got his health together. You know, everybody working out, getting buff and shit. 
Everybody done got buff in hip hop. Yeah. It's about just staying fit, whatever. <laughs> I smoke before I go in the gym, nigga. Oh, you do? Like, hell yeah. <laughs> I smoke right before I go in the gym and do some running. Fuck that. Give me that sweatshirt. Take that back, boy. Oh, this shit ugly as a motherfucker. <laughs> These motherfuckers never roll ugly. Is it wet, too? Is it wet from your saliva or some water up in this motherfucker? Uh, no, it ain't no way. Dry that motherfucker. Hell, up, like, yeah, shit, I nigga. don't believe him. Oh, hell no. That shit soggy as a fuck. <laughs> But this motherfucker, uh, you that's supposed to put that tag in that microwave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Flame boil this motherfucker. <laughs> I said, yo, is this saliva or water? He said, it's all good. I, that, ain't the answer. <laughs> that ain't the answer I was looking for and shit. See, we got to flame broil this motherfucker. <laughs> On every side. I'm not missing a side. I might not even smoke that motherfucker. Yeah. I'm high as a motherfucker. Don't you ain't high, yo. Shit. I got something I gotta do for you. No, I ain't quick. eat, brother, cause I- Hold I, on, I, hold I, on. I, wait a minute, nigga. Wait, wait. Yeah. I got I'm this shit. I'm gonna eat right now. I nigga. got you. This shit is called Inside the Smoker Studio. Okay. It's just everyday people, AKA real nigga shit. Mm -hmm. okay. What's the first thing you do or think of when you wake up? I think about what the fuck I gotta do for the day. And the first thing I do when I wake up is look for that half a clip that I dudded out last night. In a real way. And then brush my teeth. How long? Yeah. Toothpick or floss? Floss. Do you floss now. <laughs> <laughs> What's your uh, all-time favorite pair of shoes? It gotta be a fresh pair, a fresh pair of work, work, uh, work Tims. Oh, fresh the boots? Pair, construction Tims. How long? Construction Tims. How long? Fresh pair. Yeah. What color, brown or black? The tan ones, the, the okay. constructions, y'all. Gotcha, all right, say the that The constructions, I like said constructions, Like a nigga got a job, man. Like yeah, a nigga got a job, yeah. and they got on some work boots. The constructions, yeah. <laughs> How many times a day do you think about sex? As soon as I wake the fuck up, and as soon as I fucking go to sleep. Yeah, so it's like literally. <laughs> all day. <laughs> Bar soap or liquid soap? Fucking good question, cause I was just deciding that shit yesterday. <laughs> word up, yo. Word, word up. Cause, cause the so old many school when you tell you to go bar. Yeah, yeah, but that liquid soap, man. Smells you so just, good but, and, and then fresh. it gets all over you, it like it expands and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Sativa or indica? Sativa. Indica is sometimes when I ain't got shit to do. Okay. That's sativa, I need to stay motivated. Ass or titties? Ass and feet, women's feet. Shaved or bush? Shaved. Chevy or Ford? Ford. Beef or chicken? Chicken. Spagos or Roscoe's? Who the fuck is Spagos? I don't know. <laughs> Who is that? Wolfgang Puck. Oh, Wolfgang Puck? Oh, this nigga don't eat there. Wolfgang Puck? Do you? That's a restaurant? See? <laughs> I want you to finish the sentence. This is another part of my show. I hate it when niggas... Oh, oh yeah? I yeah. gotta finish that yes, shit? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. Which one should I choose? <laughs> um, I hate it when niggas... I hate it when niggas ask me for bud. Mm. Or oh, I hate it when niggas ask me for money. Mm. Or oh, I hate it when niggas call me by Reggie instead of Redman. Mm. <coughs> yeah. If I could work with anybody, I would work with. I wanna, I wanna do something with motherfucking right now who I would wanna do something with. I don't know. I'm kind of high. If I could smoke with anybody, I would smoke with. Cheech and Chong. I want to cipher up with Cheech and Chong. I did. You did? The niggas was Fuck in you. I said, Get blank or blank. Get blank or blank? Yeah. Get smart or get left. Hello. I'm a blank. My motherfucking. Head, bitch. Church, preach, tabernacle.